Hi friends, I am SciTech and welcome back to my channel SciTech and today's video I'll try to compare the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the POCO F3 GT versus IQ3 device. The POCO F3 GT has got the dimensity 1200 and whereas the IQ3 has got the Snapdragon 865 processor. Let's see friends which phone can actually open these 20 games faster and which phone has really good RAM management to store them in the background memory. I do know it's a kind of really very very intense kind of testing so no one will be using this kind of practically uh, this many 20 games in the background but quick note i just want to see which phone can handle this many games in the background and which phone has that kind of capability for the high-end performance that is what i'm going to check and even if the phone doesn't win there is no problem at all just just for the demonstration purpose only that is the reason i'm trying to explain each and everything let's see which phone can actually handle this many games in the background let me try to start the reboot process first so yep Yes, friends, I do know that this 20 games is really intense kind of testing. So only few phones will be able to survive this kind of intense testing. And all of, all the users from of my subscribers, they want to see which phone actually survives this kind of intense kind of 20 games supporting the background RAM management. So as I said, even if the phone doesn't make it, no problem, no problem at all. I'm not going to judge the phone performance based upon this one. So just, just for the demonstration purpose only. So in case if you enjoy this kind of content, don't worry, there's a playlist which I've created for the process. So you can find all this kind of unique kind of playlist which I did. And today is a happy friendship day, friends. Uh, happy friendship day for all of my subscribers. And finally, the IQ3 did uh, turn on the reboot faster than the POCO F3 GT device. Let me do it quickly unlock. And both phones, yes, yeah. Right now both phones are completely unlocked and let me try to exactly show you there's no recent applications right now open as you can see friends absolutely and there's no recent applications and whenever you press on the recent applications if there is none the aut automatically will try to go to the home screen in the iQOO 3 device so right now as you can see let me try to show you exactly ram and availability how much it is uh, yep so ram availability as you can see friends, let me try to clear everything so yeah so available amount of ram is 4.22 4.50 gb is available and 5.3 gb of 8 gb is available as you can see clearly and storage field is about 74 uh, gb of storage field and available is about 53 let's check what is the storage in this one so occupied 565 gb is occupied in the poco f3 gt and 74 GB is used in the IQ 3 device. So when I'm trying to do this kind of speed test, few of the users did ask me to mention what is the amount of RAM availability and what is the amount of storage availability as well. That is the reason I'm trying to mention all these things before starting the test. So let's start with the first game, which is the Subway Surf game. And all these 20 games are completely offline based games only. So this doesn't require any kind of Wi-Fi connection or any kind of mobile data at all. But both phones do have the one SIM card in their mobile phones. That's the one thing which I thought of just mentioning. So let's start with the first game, which is the Subway Surf. Let's see, Snapdragon 865 or the Dimensity 1200. So which phone will be able to open this kind of games faster? And next is a Candy Crush. Not bad, both phones. So this is going to be really very very tough competition friends for the Snapdragon 865 versus the Dimensity 1200. So it's going to be really very very interesting to see which phone will be keeping this many games in the background. 20 games. So 20 games is my highest level of uh, speed test I have reached. So yep, let's see. And next is a smash it game. So if this test if the phone's gonna survive this kind of 20 games, definitely I try to do the next test up to close to 25 games. So in this way, I need to extend. So just to see which phone is really good in terms of the highest level of multitasking. That is what my main point of uh, doing this kind of intense speed test comparisons between bones, between this all the two phones, just to identify which phone can actually do it. So to be the first in the RAM management, the UI need to be really very optimized. Only if the UI and the processor, they both are really optimized, only then it will be able to perform the best in terms of the RAM management. So same processor in the different phones, if the UI is not good, and if your UI is not optimized, then the RAM management will not be that great. So as I said, this is not the practical realistic, realistic test, maybe few, maybe five games, the users might keep in the background, not 10, not 20, but just all the demonstration which I'm trying to do, is just to give the results and give, just give, to give the information. So which one has got uh, what kind of capabilities? That is what uh, I would say. So right now, as you can see, friends, just uh, which phone is loading right now? Poco F3 GT did load the game faster than Minecraft, not bad. And Smash it out, let's see this game, which phone can actually open, not bad. So most of the games, both phones are really kind of close to each other. 
so you cannot see much difference but just a little bit kind of difference is there just milliseconds not few seconds but just a milliseconds so both phones yep and yep so this is going to be really very interesting friends the snapdragon 865 versus damaged 1200 and it's loading still in the iq3 device let it load I think there's some internet connection so let me have to go back so i'll try to keep in the background only anyway the application so next is uh, just see this game so i did create the playlist for each and every smartphone so for every phone i buy i'll try to create the playlist and that playlist will be really helpful to decide whether to buy which phone as you can see i already uploaded so many videos on those topics try to check those videos and will doubts will get completely clarified so right now we entered into the 16th up game both phones no problem same time let's see this game snapdragon 865 damage to 1200 which phone can load this game faster i think not bad both i think so if you try to watch in the slow motion only then you will be able to see what's the difference like which phone is opening faster so next is a uh, knife hit and finally we are in entering into the next final game which is the fun race 3d let's see after this game it's going to be really challenging friends 20 games so i'm really excited for this kind of 20 games to see which phone can actually manage this many games in the background as you can see starting from the subway sub to every game is open in both phones completely as you can see friends, let's go back to the main screen and let's start from the back side let's see from the back side how many games will be in the ram management again i'll come from the back side so let's see so how many levels can it reach the phone and how fast they are opening that is what i'm going to check this 20 games that's really insane i would say for this kind of uh, two phones so the iq3 is really powerful friends snapdragon 865 don't underestimate this is really good the snapdragon 865 which is kind of close to our snapdragon 870 so as you can see two two rows completely cleared in both phones two phones can exactly open 10 games now let's enter into third row third row the minecraft did show the faster in the iq3 you did observe right the minecraft yes a little bit and next is angry birds not bad both phones till now 1.5 points for the iq3 0.5 just because of that minecraft and next is crossy roads not an issue smash it this is a final level friends final level we are trying to reach it's going to be really insane temple run both phones and getaway too both phones didn't manage so both phones didn't manage that kind of game opening what happened to this poco f3 gt i'm not sure what is, what what has happened but it's completely black screen i'm not sure what has happened with this game completely it was black screen so next is a uh, can crush so both phones didn't keep in the background memory as you can see clearly both phones didn't keep and the the service of is on the back background memory as you can see friends background memory but the black screen issue some of the users that did mention i think uh, i'm not sure exactly i don't remember i think maybe one comment i did read on the black screen sometimes when they're trying to open the games or any application they are seeing this kind of black again when they go back to the home screen and when when they're trying to open it back again it's opening normally but right now in front of the camera only it did happen what is the problem you did see that so as you can see so these are the things which will definitely get to know friends so these are the just initial days of using only the poco f3 gt so we will get to know all the problems and what are the issues what are the things to know everything but in this ram management and test so the games did not open was a candy crush and the gateway to and the subway surf so three games did not open in this phone and in the poco f3 gt two games did not open candy crush and the gateway to gateway to there's a problem in that game i'm not sure why the black screen i got but still so 20 games this is an intense kind of testing in the ram management both are really great both are really very very close to each other and let's start from the back side let's see back side this game is closed it's not open in the iq3 device and I, i'm coming from the back side and just to see which one can actually keep them in the background memory that is the reason i'm trying to come from the back side as you can see so once after i visit everything i'll try to come back again just to check 
double check i'm trying to double check which phone can which phone is actually keeping them in the memory for longer time so after the rise up let's see the rise up rise up finish i think super sticky plus this game it's not opening the memory i'm not sure why let me try to do it from home screen so in the iq3 maybe this kind of intense test i think so but it was able to load them in the first round so i mean in the ram management test first round it was able to load them in the second round it was unable, unable to load the games let's come from the first uh, let's see how many games it can uh, it's actually loading it's loading till here no issues angry birds no what i'm trying to touch angry birds yes minecraft no smash heroes what smash heroes it's opening other application maybe this so 20 application is kind of really intense i think so in this phone so i think right now the this phone was able to handle 20 games but this kind of intense kind of testing only friends i'm trying to say as i said i'm not declaring like any kind of winner or anything just for the demonstration purpose only i'm trying to show you what is happening right now if you try to use this kind of 20 applications which phone will be able to manage properly in the ram management so both are did really great job but in the final round the iq3 device was unable to open and keep the games in the background for some reason i'm not sure i do know 20 games is a really intense test it's so one thing i can definitely say that And thank you for watching this video, friends. And see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any other queries regarding the smartphone, let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video, friends. Until then, bye.